Well, I see no activity, no switching of reservations, no shuffling of keys. I will give you ten seconds. I, am. Um, well, it, it, it's, it's, uh... <laughs> Is there a problem here? Well, there won't be in seven seconds, because he will be out in the snow. Uh, Mrs. Crane. <laughs> I had no idea you were coming today. Yes, I've already arrived. And my request for a particular room has been denied. Nonsense. You can have any room you wish. See to it. I take it you're the manager. Well, actually, I was just the assistant last time you were here, but uh, Mr. Crane was kind enough Whatever. to... Whatever. Yes, of course. What about my room? You're all set, Mrs. Crane. <laughs> and uh, I will inform the Bennets that you're here the moment that they arrive. No. You will do no such thing. They are not to know. As you wish, madam. You will proceed, Mrs. Crane, to the room and see that it is properly prepared. Yes, sir. It's starting to come together. In fact, it's working perfectly. Being in the next room to Sam and Grace will make it simple to implement my plan. Oh, yes. Everything is going to work out exactly the way I imagined it. <clears throat> uh, Mrs. Crane? Ready? It's right this way. You know, Charity and Miguel seem so happy together. It's nice to see them getting closer. You sure see a lot of each other. <laughs> hey, you remember that story you told me in the Lobster Shack about the poor boy who fell in love with the rich girl and how her family forced them apart? <clears throat> and she married another man. <gasps> I'm just so glad that that is not going to happen to Charity and Miguel. I don't think I could bear it if it did. I mean, just imagine, years from now, Charity regretting that things didn't work out with Miguel. Okay, just... no more stories about other couples and things not working out. Let's, let's concentrate on us, <laughs> our love. It's just that I think that that rich girl was truly in love with that poor boy. I think she thinks about him to this very day. I'm so glad you're here. I love you so much. Oh, God! Are you all right? Yeah. It's okay, it's okay. I mean, that was close. Well, that's a moose. Oh, it's a good thing we didn't hit him. I... Those things weigh a couple of tons. Aren't those things supposed to be hibernating or something? Well, somebody didn't tell him. Oh, oh my God. God. I am so sorry, guys. Oh, Sam, I and mean, you didn't see him. I didn't see him to the last second. <laughs> Maybe your heart's pounding. I thought we were gonna crash. You know, something like that makes you realize how precious time really is. Hey, you want me to lose control again? <laughs> No. Let's so wait till we get back to the room. I can't wait. We're gonna have a fabulous time. All by ourselves. With no one there to disturb us. Because nobody knows where we are.